A wide variety going on, especially in the valley. This is the way it looks in Sacramento, looking to where the clouds are with the rain. But if you looked the other way, you'd see a good amount of sun. But what we're seeing everywhere is cool temperatures. Currently 52 in Sacramento and Stockton, 51 in Modesto, 17 degrees at Tahoe. And as I say often at this time of day, this is the warmest part of the day. It's not getting any warmer than this, and that means temperatures tonight will drop down into the 30s. On Doppler radar, this little line right here, if you draw a line that runs from just north of Natomas all the way down towards Sonora, it's a line right here where we're seeing some of the heaviest showers. Back to the west of that, we're hardly seeing anything, and as this moves up the hill, it's turning into snow, and you see a couple of lightning strikes in here as well. So for those of you in Amador, Calaveras, and Tuolumne County, you may be hearing some rumbles of thunder. We've got a lot to get through here in the next 48 hours or so, so let me go through Futurecast relatively slowly here and we'll be able to figure out what's going to happen. This is tonight. The showers we're seeing will wrap up, but notice it's still snowing in the Sierra. Chain controls are up now. They're going to be up throughout the night. I think we'll probably have chain controls all the way until Saturday, so let's just get that out of the way. This is tomorrow morning. The valley is dry once again. It's snowing in the Sierra, but probably not in the foothills. It's probably about what's happening now in terms of snow. We just don't have enough moisture to squeeze out any snow in the foothills, but it is snowing in the higher elevation, so that's 730 tomorrow morning. Let's get into the middle part of the day in the afternoon. Once again, like today, a couple of showers pop up, and as those showers go up the hill, we'll start to see some snow at elevations around 1,000 feet. And down in the valley, wouldn't be surprised if once again we see some small hail like what we're seeing out there today. So this is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Things begin to change tomorrow night. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. We start to get some steadier rain, and because we're getting steady rain in the valley, that turns into steadier snow. Snow throughout Lake County, th uh, snow throughout the northern part of Napa County. And then as we go through the overnight tomorrow night, that's when we get the lowest snow. This is 1.30 in the morning. We have the chance of getting some snow in the western part of Yolo County. We have snow down to 1,000 feet. This is, again, the overnight. The other thing that will be happening at this time is it's going to be windy. We may have winds gusting 40 to 45 miles an hour, so it's going to be windy, it's going to be wet, and it's going to be snowy. Yeah, it's going to be pretty nasty during the overnight hours tomorrow night. This is 8 o'clock Friday morning. We have snow in the coast range. We have snow in the foothills, snow in the Sierra, scattered showers in the valley. As we go through the day on Friday, we'll still see more periods of rain, 11 o'clock in the morning, rain in the valley. But the other thing that will happen is that the snow level will gradually go up, maybe by only about 1,000 feet. But that will take many of you from 1,000 feet up to about 2,000 feet from snow to rain. And then as we get into the day on Saturday, all of this sinks from north to south, bringing us clearing. So how much snow are we talking about? It'll come in stages. We'll see maybe an inch or two tomorrow. This is at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, a couple of inches in Placerville. We'll add a bit more to that during the day on Thursday. This is Thursday at midnight, but the best snow is going to be during the overnight hours, and that's how we get up to 16 inches in Colfax, and as you can see, farther up the hill, three feet of snow. So yeah, we're going to be in chain controls all the way into the day Saturday. We'll clear things out on Saturday. On Sunday, we'll see some light rain come through in the afternoon, but a better rain and snowmaker comes through Monday and Tuesday with the snow levels probably in the ballpark of 3,000 feet or so. Mm. So, yeah, if you narrow down a time when the foothills could be most impacted, uh -huh. it's going to be late tomorrow night okay. and up to about 8 o'clock Friday morning. I think that's the time that we're really going to be focused on. Heavy snow and gusty winds. Yeah, right now in the foothills, there's just a little light and it melted before it got to the yeah. ground. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's just and, now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So not a big impact right now no. in the foothills, but it is on the way. It's yeah. coming. You can